Hi. Taking time to decompress, to try and deal with your stress is an important part, not only of self-care, but of overall health. Sometimes when we're trying to unwind, it can be as easy as turning on some music and dancing around the kitchen, sitting down with a book, or just having a nice cup of tea. But other times it can be a little bit more challenging and having some tools to help you get into the right mindset and headspace can be very useful in creating an atmosphere that allows you to either work with your stress, decompress, maybe even meditate. So what I wanted to do was to show you one, two, three, four, five things that I use either together or individually that really do help me mellow, to help me get into the headspace that I need to, and to really set the mood. So I'm going to flip things around and show you each of them and how I use them. Here's the first thing that I use, and this is my singing bowl. Now every singing bowl, this is a brass one, every singing bowl will have its own sound. And what the sound does is to really help the body to relax, to put it into a meditative state. When you're going to buy um, a, a, a bowl like this, a, a singing bowl, it really is beneficial to either try yourself or have the person who owns the store have it sing for you. And you can really align yourself with sounds. It really is amazing when you go and you listen to the different bowls, how they resonate with you. So this is the first thing that I use. The second thing that I use is this is sage and you burn the sage, you smudge the sage and it gives off a lovely smoke and you put it around your space, you move it around the space, you add the smoke to the space and it helps to purify where you are. So if you are sitting in a small room, if you have, if you're lucky enough to have a meditation room, smudging, burning sage can be very wonderful in detoxifying the space. Something that I love, and this is something that I actually carry around in my purse. So this is something that I use quite often. And this is a detoxifying, this one is in particular is detoxifying. Um, it's an essential oil roller. And I always have some type of a roller around handy. This really, you know, every essential oil works differently. Every essential oil resonates differently. Uh, your mood will dictate which essential oil will be best for you. Um, this one is one that I find works for me in a lot of different ways and in a lot of different uh, spaces. So I love to have this one with me. I keep it in my purse. Uh, I bring it to bed at night. It's wonderful for me and it does help to calm me. I love the scent of it and it is very relaxing. So that's number three. Number four, this is a thumbstone. And I've had sev several, several, several thumbstones. It is so calming sometimes just to rub something. And this is a lovely smooth stone. I'm very fortunate to have a rock store close by me. And this rock store has so many wonderful things. And they have so many different types of stones. And of course, every stone has its own property. And they have these just oodles and oodles of these thumb stones. And I lose them frequently. And so what I'll do is I'll just, uh, you know, I, I sit there. I'll, if I'm anxious, if I'm nervous, I just feel like having something nice feeling in my hand. I have a thumb stone. And if I lose it, they are certainly not expensive. I head back to my rock guy and pick up another one. And the last thing, and this is something that I think a lot of people love to have that can really help to set the mood. It can really help. This actually, candles are very good for helping with circadian rhythm. So when the light is going down, you can really help to sync your circadian rhythm by turning the house lights down and putting a, lighting a candle. 
And of course, different candles will have different scents. You wanna make sure that you've got a beeswax candle or a soy candle. This particular one is a soy candle so that it burns very cleanly. Some candles, if they are, if they are made of certain things, will burn um, carcinogenic um, fumes into the air. So you definitely wanna stay away from those. But setting the mood this and, and having you know fire fires is an element and having fire or having a candle it can really just help you to calm down and as i said before very good for sinking your circadian rhythm so if i'm able to have space and time on my own i will take all of these things and put them into where i'm i'm sitting where i'm at and i'll have i'll make myself well, I won't so much take the the thumbstone I, when I'm when I'm sitting quietly. Uh, I don't usually have my thumbstone, but I will take these four things or a different essential oil and create an atmosphere for myself. And I really do find that creating the right atmosphere is really wonderful and sometimes essential for getting me into the right headspace for either a meditation session or just to simply relax and shrug off the day. So hopefully some of these, um, some of these ideas will resonate with you. You certainly don't have to take everything into hand, but you know, try one or two, see how they work, see how they resonate, but really do take time every day for yourself to try and create a lovely space and a lovely atmosphere for peace and relaxation.